Welcome to Sway Best Easy Recipes. Today we're making tilapia goat meat light soup. Here are the ingredients of the day. We have some tilapia, some canned tomatoes, ginger, onions, habaneros, and okra. Here is a goat meat seasoned with salt and onions. Ready to go. In another pot, I'm going to boil the tomatoes, onions, and peppers and ginger. I just like to do it in a separate pot. Some people do it together with the meat and that's okay too. But this is my method and I always say there is no right or wrong way of doing something. It's always improving it. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and season my, um, my tilapia with some garlic powder, onion powder, and some salt. And this is to help to, to help man marinate it so it's going to give it a very fantastic flavor. Here, I went ahead and blended my onion, no, my tomatoes and um, peppers. Now I'm going to blend my ginger and onions and then pour it in. Right now, the, the stove is on. I'm going to put everything in and it's going to marinate the meat and cook at the same time. So this is the thickest part of my soup and it's also the saltiest part of my soup. Okay, and the reason why is because the flavor needs to go into the um into the goat meat at this point. And what I'm gonna do is just stir it up and let it go. Allow it to cook on its own for some time. Then I'm gonna add some water. So when you do this, don't be afraid. It's not going to stick to the bottom. It's going to look like stew or sauce. That's okay. It's just the thickness and the richness. But when you add the water, everything is going to fall in place. So don't worry. So when I close it, I allow it to cook for about like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Let it cook, okay, until you're comfortable with it. Everybody has a different style of cooking, all right? So here I added the broth from the tomatoes, the um the boiled tomatoes and onions and habaneros and ginger. And I'm going to add some more water to make it lighter. Okay, that's why it's called light soup. And at this point, I'm going to allow it to boil a little bit. Then I'm going to add some more water and add my tilapia. There you go. Add my tilapia in there. And then the okra at the same time and the reason why I do that is because it's easier it reduces the stirring and you don't want to stir the soup too much when you put a tilapia in if it's not if not it's just gonna break into pieces and you don't want to do that you want to avoid it my okra would cook perfectly when the tilapia is cooked and when the soup is ready allow it to simmer and to boil on medium heat let it go. The tilapia is not going to break. Remember, when you're stirring, you just don't stir from the middle. You stir it on the sides nice and easy and slow, okay? And there we go. The soup is ready. It went well with fufu. You can eat it with rice, depending on what you like. Some people just drink it like broth, and that's fine as well. But this was amazing, very easy. Kids can enjoy it. All the folks can enjoy it. Try the recipe and let me know. You're welcome to subscribe, like, thumbs up, and share as well. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye.